Let's code today. Let's build something with Python, AI, Twilio to send a text message. And what about, let's use REPL to do it. Okay, let's do it. But how is this going to work? Let's break it down. So to start with, we are going to use Claude, which is my favorite AI chatbot right now. It is updated till 2022. So it has pretty up-to-date data. And with Claude, we are going to write it a prompt. From there, we're going to get a skeleton of code, see what it's suggesting we do with Python. We're going to take that code then and transfer it to REPL, make some changes, modifications, so it's accurate as to what we want. And then from there, we're going to sign up to Twilio, which is, if you haven't used Twilio, it is probably one of my favorite tools to use. It's such a great way to code uh, interactivity by sending text messages or emails, different kind of messaging. And what we are going to do is connect it to your phone number, whatever that is, and it's going to send us text message every day, or not every day, sorry, a text message once a week, and that will be of our grocery list. Because what I used to do, call me crazy, maybe I'm the only one who did this, is I would text myself my grocery list and I would go in and input every, okay, what do I think I want? What are some foods I want? So this way, we don't have to do any of that. One thing I forgot to mention is, why are we using Python? Why not JavaScript? Not, why not PHP? or any other language. Well, here are some benefits with Python. Of course, it's easy to learn. It's very user-friendly and it's intu intuitive syntax. Also, it's versatile. It can be used for so many wide range of applications. I always encourage people to learn it if they want to go into AI, machine learning, building desktop apps, scripting. There are so many different possibilities with Python. And not to mention, it has a great community. There is so much documentation out there about Python that it makes it easy to pick up quickly and then continue to build your skills upon. Now, let's be honest, there are tons of use cases where using something like this AI to help you code is not a good idea, especially if you are using it at work or anything like that. This with Claude, I find it a really good or fun way that you can prompt it to give you ideas about a project for coding to give you, or maybe you're just, you're not a coder, but you just want to have fun and build or tinker around. There is a time and a place for everything. And today the time and place is now. So let's use Claude. Let's start by prompting it with build me a weekly planner, a weekly grocery planner, grocery planner that will get text to me once a week with Python. I feel like that prompt was not great, but let's see what it does. All right, so we're using Twilio, of course. Uh, date time is a package I am familiar with. One thing to note is you do not just go install different packages or modules that you're not familiar with. Make sure to do your research because there has been some interesting things going on with people, uh, you know, just copying code and then bad packages are installed. So let's go through this code for a sec here. Here is some Python code to build a weekly grocery store planner. So we have set up Twilio, which we will do, then a list of items to buy each week. Okay, so the basics kind of thing. Function to text the grocery store, the grocery list, and then checking if it's the right date and time. And then of course, sleep to check again because we don't wanna, we don't wanna get texts every day. This is pretty accurate. I think we could update it and customize it a bit, but this is a great place to start. Now, what is it saying to do next? It says sign up for a Twilio account, yes. Set the recipient phone number to your own number, of course, and run the script. Next up, we are gonna use REPL. REPL is my favorite environment or favorite platform, I should say, that really makes it easy to start building. Now, one thing with REPL is for this to work, we will have to run it locally, I believe, for this job to run. I don't know if it would work in REPL. I think we have to do it locally. But regardless, we will try it. But to start with, let's do it in REPL. So let's create a REPL, Python, and we're just gonna go with the title it gives us. Why not? Super Dazzle. And then from here, let's go back to Claude, and we're gonna take this. And once again, it's because I'm familiar with uh, this package. I used Twilio in the past. I'm not just taking a random package. So then let's go here, paste this code. And now, next up, we gotta go to Twilio. In Twilio, it's really simple to set up. First, of course, you sign up for an account, then you will be able to get a phone number, send your first text, and start building an app. So I'm not going to take you through my Twilio because I don't want to use my keys or my IDs, but you get the point. It's very simple and really user-friendly. 
Now, once you have that, we can go back into our app and input the required information. Account SID, auth token, and then two from and two. So your two will be to your own phone number. I'm not putting one in here because I love y'all, but I don't need you texting me. One thing I wanna customize though is the weekly list. So right now we have milk, bread, eggs. Let's change this to oat milk. We are a dairy-free household. Uh, let's do, instead of bread, let's do tomato. Do we have tomato? Oh, we do. Okay, let's do, I actually need some beans, eggs, yes. Chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, cheese. Okay, that's a pretty good list if you ask me. So what's really going on here? Let's step back for a second here. We have our weekly list of uh, items to buy. And then we have this function here, which essentially is going to text the grocery list, write what it says. Why do you need me when we have AI to explain things for us? Uh, but the whole point of this is the while true, if date time, uh, and will equal six, which is uh, equates to Sunday, then we will print texting grocery list and it will call this function above here and pass in the gro grocery list. I need to uh, get more sleep, speaking of sleep. And then it will wait a week before checking again. So once every day on Sunday. And you can change this if you want it to be a different day, of course, but uh, Sunday seems to be a good grocery shopping day. <music> All right, I hope you enjoyed going through this very simple tutorial with AI, Python, and Twilio. The purpose of it really was to show you just how quickly it is that you can get started today, whether it be coding, building something interesting, or just tinkering. You don't need to become a software developer or software engineer in order to code. Code is something that can enable you to really, you know, build any business ideas you have or automate parts of your life. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, and career-related videos, and I will see you all soon. What should we automate next? Can I find a way to automate someone walking my dogs? That would be nice.